So now let's see how we can utilize the case transform tool inside of GIMP. So to do that, I need to open up a picture. So I'm just going to go around on to open right here and then open uh, a, a picture of this Lotus right here, as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the case transform tool uh, and arrange out the Lotus that is rearrange out the Lotus. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here and then find out the case transform tool right here. So you can see that I have a unified transform over here, just like this. And over here under the warp transform, you can see that case transform is an option. And this is what we want. So now what we need to do is we need to go around and draw around just like this uh, on where we want to transform. Simply go around and draw around in the part right here. And that has been done as you can see. So now what you can do is if I were to go around and then click and drag this out right here, you can see that I am adjusting the case right here, but you can see that I am squ uh, squishing and pulling these around as you can see right here. I'm squishing the parts of the leaves right here as you can see right here as well. That is the petals right here that is, and you can see that I can pull this out and then as per the case right here, it readjusts out everything right here, just like this. And that is what we what we have right here. You can also fill out the original position right here, just like this with just the color. So you don't have anything but the color as you can see right here. So you can go around and readjust it out right there. Or you can go around and simply leave it as it is and then it'll fill it out with um, um, nothing right here. You can also go around and adjust the case right here. So if I were to go around and to adjust the case, then you can simply go around and then uh, adjust it out as you can see right here. So it simply goes around and adjusts out the case right here, just like this. So let me just go around over here and you can see that that is what you have right here. So you can go around and make further edits to the case right here. Well, uh, when you're on the deform stage, it deforms out the content of the case just like this. Go around and press enter, then that is what you have. So what you can simply do is, let me just press control Z right here. You can also go around on to create a case and then select out a bunch of points right here, like all around the flower petals as well, just like this. I'm just going to go around over here. So you can also go around, select out all of the uh, points right here, just like this, and then deform it out according to how you want. So you can just go around over here, close it just like this. Let me just press control that right here, close it right here. And then you can see that it, this is what we have. And then um, it computes and you can go around and then utilize these points right here and it'll change out the uh, shape of the flower. So you can really go around and make these changes right here, just like this. And then you can deform um, um, the content out according to how you want right here, just like this. And that is how you can utilize the case transform tool inside of GIMP. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.